Because Rene is a sequencer with multiple channels, I sometimes kind of default to patching it up to drive multiple voices. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's really fun to create various harmonies and movements in a polyphonic context. But this time, let's take a look at using multiple channels of Rene to create a sequence for a single synth voice. Obviously, I am using Rene because it is our multi-channel sequencer, but some of the ideas we'll go over here could be applied to your patches using a different sequencer or sequencers. We briefly touched on the sample and hold function of Rene in a recent video, and looking back, I didn't see a lot of our videos focusing on this function, which is unfortunate because it's actually one of my favorite things Rene does. It can be particularly useful for single voice sequencing, since it lets us create variations on note sequencing and gives us a lot of control over how predictable or unpredictable those variations are going to be. So let's start out here with a simple patch. We're driving our VCO with the XCV. Clocking the X channel with channel two of Tempe. I'm running Tempe at a fairly slow leading tempo here. And the shape of this sequence is pretty easy to hear. It's an ascending four-step pattern. Let's clock the Y channel somewhat faster. X is at divide by one. Let's do Y at times eight. Instead of using the Y channel to drive the other VCO, let's patch it to XCV. And use it to add its value to X's. But remaining in the scale we have set on the quantize page. Using fun.cv.add to do this, any value coming into the CV input is added immediately. But let's use sample and hold instead, because this will let us decouple the Y sequence from the adding that is happening in some fun ways. When sample and hold is turned on, we need to use the xmod input to tell Rene when to sample a new value. Let's start by clocking it at the same rate that the Y channel is going. I've set channel six to that same rate, times eight. Oops, repatch that, not to Y mod, but to X mod, which is the channel where the sample and hold is happening. There we go. Now, that ascending four step pattern has this eight-step pattern superimposed upon each step. We can still hear it ascend across the four steps, but it's also shaped by the other sequence at the same time. Let's emphasize it even a little more by gating the whole thing with a triggered function. I'm gonna use channel one of Tempe at the same rate as channel two for now divide by one, and therefore matching the X clock. So that each step of the slow four step pattern will create a new node event. And the eight step pattern superimposed over each step rings out briefly. Let's also rhythmically modulate the timbre of the final output by patching the Y gates to shape CD. Now that we've created a sort of predictable 32-step sequence, we can create variations by simply changing the various clock rates. The four clock rates here are controlling on channel one, the function that generates the node events. 
on channel 2, the slow sequence on the X channel. On channel 3, the faster sequence on the Y channel. And on channel 6, the rate at which the Y channel's output is sampled as it's added to values on the X channel. Furthermore, we have two sequence lengths. Four step sequence for the X channel and an 8-step sequence for the Y channel. Changing these will also alter the overall path of the sequence. that for a supplemental voice, instead of meticulously programming a whole new sequence on another channel, let's just use the Cartesian channel to add related rhythms to what we already have. Let's uh, ring modulate the sine wave from this same BCO, and we uh, hard sync the modulating sine wave so that it will always stay more or less in tune, and that'll sound like this. Let's use the Cartesian gates. To create a function for its amplitude on the second channel of modulus, which is normal to the output of the first channel. So that what we get is this. the fall time on this function as well. Give it a little more variation. And let's also modulate the modulator's pitch slightly. Now, as we continue to alter the various clocks and sequence lengths, this ring modulated sub voice will change accordingly as well.
why stop there? Why stop anywhere? Let's impaste this state to a few different locations. And then create some variations that we can easily move between. times when less is more, and there are times when more is more. In this particular case, I'm having trouble telling which of these maxims would be more or less applicable. So let's just leave off by saying thanks for watching, and happy patching.